Thanks. We're live in downtown New York City at the Artist Summit. As you can see, everybody's getting set up for the two-day event. The Metropolitan Pavilion fourth floor will definitely be the spot that you will want to be at today. We're going to see all types of things from products to makeup to different techniques of how to use those materials as well. So make sure you stay tuned right here at MUA TV. Some of the early bird attendees are already starting to trickle into the Artist Summit, so we're going to go ahead and head on over to Eve Pearl's booth so she can touch, touch me up a little bit. Uh, red Eye Flight, find out what it's going to take in order to turn this monster face into a more, oh, let's say, I don't know, face that's easier on the eye for you. We're going to be here for two days, so we're going to go to the best of the best to go ahead and get me taken care of. We want to make sure you're there to watch each and every step of the way. Let's go on over and see Eve. How lucky are we this morning? How are you? <laughs> Good seeing you again. Nice to see you. Would you? Uh... I tell you, it actually would be my pleasure. I'd get a head start today, and the one, the only Emmy Award winning Eve Pearl is going to do me up today. My pleasure, my honor. <laughs> have a seat. And I, mean, right. I don't know how much I could improve upon perfection. Oh, wow. You're too kind. We actually just had a red-eye flight from Los Angeles, so if you can transform this mug into something that these guys will be willing to watch. Well, you know what? People <laughs> actually, when they see a man, they get confused because they're like, well, do I put a lot of makeup on him? Do I don't put a lot of makeup? What do I need to do? Mm -hmm. But men, you know, men need to be taken care of as well. <laughs> they need to, they want to look their best. So we're going to start out with, the first thing we want to do is we want to treat the skin because he really has very nice skin, but we want to get rid of some of the shine. This will be the best thing to do. I'm going to take a little bit of an anti-shine. Okay, when you use anti-shine, you need a very, very little. And they, they do come in shades. See, this is a little bit, has a little tint to it. You don't want to use the ones that look too light on darker skin because it will get a strange film. So you want to be wary of that. They come in two shades. There's a dark shade and there's a lighter shade. I just want to show you the difference so you can see. This is the dark. This is the light. This would be used on Caucasian skin, light to medium. This would be used from medium to dark skin, okay? You take your sponge, very little, and very, very little bit. And you see we're gonna go over the areas that you need a little bit of coverage. And basically, this will get rid of the shine. So he doesn't need to have a lot of powder on him, but we want to make sure that we take care of the shine and let the handsome man come through with that excess shine. But we do want to get rid of some of this coloring. We want to get rid of this, a little bit of the dark under eyes since he was on the red eye. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. My entire makeup kit fits in this one little bag, by the way. No suitcases, one little bag. Wow. <laughs> I was trying to maintain it clean, though, for a bottle of water, just water, and a sponge. We're going to spray the sponge, okay, because we want to make any cream that we apply go on very, very sheer. So just water and a sponge. This is our foundation Trio B, okay? It's got three shades. It'll cover up any man or woman of color. Okay, I'm going to go on this side because I'm a righty. All right, I want to show you. I'm a righty need... too, Eve. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we need very little. I want to make sure we get rid of a little bit of this blemish. And we just dab the area and around. And don't be afraid to basically layer and blend in. And whether you're doing HD, you're doing video, you're doing tape, you want to make sure that everything looks 
natural close up. And if you notice, I'm using creams and a wet sponge. The cream will work for HD fabulously. Okay. And you can use, I was using the thicker brush. You can also use a thin little concealer type of brush. Now, I want to show you one of our wonderful new items. It's called, this is the salmon concealer. This is the dark tone. Watch what's going to happen to the under eyes. You see the color, you would not really think to put this salmon-y color on the under eyes. But watch, we're going to blend this in. And you see I'm gently blending it in right into the skin. Open your eyes. Now, can you look right here straight on and see the difference from one to the other? With the salmon and not. So again, very little. We put right underneath where the blue would be. And we would rub it gently, gently. But do you see how that got rid of? Now, to cover up this, the five o'clock shadow, or some men just naturally, you know, their, their skin is, is lighter than the beard that comes through. I'm gonna use the same salmon color right here to basically first get rid of the blueness. Okay, you wanna get rid of the blue. I'm just gonna show you how to get rid of the blue. And then, and by using the wet sponge, you're never gonna have a thick, cakey layer of, of makeup. But if you start out with a little bit of the salmon color and then you're gonna move on to your foundation, I want you to see how that will end up just making the entire coverage be very, very smooth. And the thing with men is men are very, very sensitive about, you know, having a look of wearing makeup. And if you see, if you notice, it really, you can't see any makeup. But it's sort of, a, it doesn't look ashy or cakey, and it's basically just covering up. And anytime anything will get a little ashy looking, you want to make sure you add the salmon color. Because believe it or not, it's this salmon color that breaks any of that blue, it really gets rid of the blue ashy color. Eve is turning back the hands okay. on the clock. I just went from a five o'clock shadow to about what, 12, 30, 1, 15, something like that? There you go, but it's, you know, it's a slight, it's really, really a slight difference, but it, I mean, you're, it doesn't feel cakey. This will work for HD, it'll mm -hmm. work for regular. And if you even touch your face on the side, you'll see it, it doesn't feel cakey or heavy. It's very natural. Very natural. We'll do the same thing on the other side. And you can leave the hair down here because it ends up just giving a nice, actually a solid, you know, a solid look. We'll do a little bit on the forehead, but you really have such, you know, wonderful, wonderful skin. And remember, we were just using a wet sponge and just blending everything in. And see wherever there might be a little redness coming through. We'll just get that. And just using this simple palette and a little bit of the cream foundations, we took care of that. So again, we use the salmon, and these actually would work for lighter skin. This is the light salmon, this is the medium salmon, this is the dark salmon. And basically the light works for light skin, the medium for medium skin, and dark for darker skin. And you can always mix the three. But the darker colors work great for men's facial hair mm -hmm. and for the beards. And the One Foundation Trio really took care of, takes care of all the, anyone from medium to darker skin. Now where was that honey tone that you, you were referring to earlier? Oh, the honey tone is... I like that, honey When tone. you're using foundation, when you're looking for a foundation for anyone of color, you don't want to use anything too yellow because yellow is going to get a gray, okay. going to get a weird ashy color. So you want to stay with a honey. See, it's a warm tone. So more like an orange, a salmon, but warm. Okay. So when you use it on darker skin, and as it gets darker, it's not going to start turning gray. It's going to just be, make the skin look healthy. Okay. Okay, so stay with honey. Think of sweet, everything I base on food. Honey, salmon, you know, <laughs> clearly. But um, do you feel comfortable? How does your face, your I, skin? I, you? I feel just fine so far. You're cooking up such a great dish. It must be breakfast time around a here, A hot huh? sizzling dish. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the show. And All right. Come by for some more little tips later on. Absolutely. Right. Eve Pearl, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Sure thing. Now, see, Eve mentioned that the skin that I have,
is a little bit of better quality. A lot of people recommend drinking lots of water for good skin, qual for good skin quality. Me, my secret, great Kool-Aid. <laughs> Take care, guys.